What's up guys, Corn Snake 5 here and welcome to episode 135 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battles series. So, on the last episode we went negative again, we've been going negative quite a lot recently, so we're on 212 wins, 190 defeats, so 22 game differential. We're way up to 32 I think at one point. So let's get on the wheel of ball number 1. Ok, I'm going to have to log in, I'll see you in a minute. Ok guys, I am back, let's get on the wheel of ball number 1. So a Linoon versus a Flareon, so there's a high chance he will have superpowers, so we should switch out. Let's go out into Slowbro. There's the Flare Blitz, doesn't do much. And there's the Toxic. Let's Mega Evolve and go for the Skull. If we could pick up a Burn on Electifier that would be really nice, we don't. So I'm going to go out into, I'm not sure, have a look, because he's going to be physical. Okay, he's special. Uh, what, I was hoping he was physical, but most select by R. Okay, Dialga. Well, that's easily going to kill me, so... I really don't have anything on this steam that can take him out. I need to get an avalanche off. Okay. Well, let's go... Oh, I really don't have anything super effective against him, except him. Let's go for the Focus Blast. Two at KO, very nice. Draco will probably... Oh, it doesn't take me out. Let's go for another Focus Blast. Hopefully take down the Dialga. Okay, so he switches on a Scavalier. Let's go for the HP Fire now. How does that not kill? Four times super effective. Okay, so he goes down. Let's go out into cast form. And we will try setting up the rain. Goes for the volt switch. Smeagol comes out. Interesting choice there. Let's go for a weather ball. Almost take out the Smeagol. And now we will go for a Hurricane. Oh, come on, don't put me to sleep. This might be a mistake letting him set up so much. He played that really well. Okay, so Electivire is likely to come out. So let me go. Hmm, let me go Shaman. Breelum comes out. This band not have Spore as well. Let's go for the Air Slash. Now a seed flare will probably take him out. It does. So down goes Electivire. Flareon comes out. So here let's go for the oh, I need to go out on the slow bro. Ooh, he almost takes me out. And he's going to now. <laughs> I shouldn't have went out in the slow bro. I should have let Shaman go down. Let's go lie noon. And I think if we are going to win, we need to set up a belly drum. 
Let's think, facade's probably going to kill me, so let's just go extreme speed. It does kill me. And let's go for an air slash here. Yeah. Kick out the flare on. So now we have Shim and Sky to take out both the Dialga and a Breathing. So let's go for Hidden Power Fire. Flying is resisted by Steel, isn't it? Ooh, that kills with a crit. Which means I should have this in the bag. This air slash should kill the Breathing. Unless he's focused that. I mean, I may still miss the air slash. My opponent has disconnected, so I will pause the recording here and come back when they reconnect. Okay guys, so that opponent rage quit because of the critical hit, which did matter. I've done some in the 300 seconds I had to wait. I did some damage calcs and HP fire did maximum of 22.8%. He was on 31%. These are both uninvested and his Draco Meteor would have done minimum of 74% and I was on 61%. So, yeah. He would have won that, basically, if I didn't crit there. So, fair enough for him rage cutting. Let's go on to battle number two. What if he had gone for flash cannon instead of Draco? Let's check that out. Um, flash cannon would not have killed, so he had to go for Draco. So, if he had made the mistake and gone for the flash cannon instead of the Draco, then I would have won. But... Uh, We'll never know. So let's go for the Dark Pulse. Goes for the T-Ball. Dark Pulse almost takes him out. And let's go... For another Dark Pulse. Or do I go out into like Don Fan? Let's go into Don Fan. And now we'll go for an Ice Shard, which should kill. Why are we banded? We will go for a straight up knockoff, no Earthquake. There's a Hyper Voice, there's a lot. I should have just gone for Ice Shard and not took any damage, because now he's got this in. Okay, so let's switch out into Diggersby, I think. I think Diggersby is the correct play. So he sets up Stealth Rock, let's go for a Wild Charge. See if this will take him out. It probably will take him out, based on... Aerodactyl's not the bulkiest. Like in the champ. Does almost half. So we're gonna have to switch. Let's go out into Grumpig. Let's just check, yes, it does have Psychic. We could go Florges. Let's go Florges. There's the knockoff. Which are my lefties? And we will go straight up for Moon Blast. Bullet Punch does quite a bit. The Moon Blast does take out the Macham. Flodges actually has quite high special attack. A lot of people don't realise. Attack the Oxus. Let's go for a Moon Blast. Because you're really weak in terms of actual. So you're Life Orb. Let's 
Who diggers be? And let's go for the U-turn. Okay, the superpower destroys me. You shouldn't be able to take a Blastoise in one hit. Okay, he had Psycho Boost. There's my rapid spin I gone. Well that sucks. Okay. Let's go for a nice shot. Take him out. Well done Don Fan. Diancy comes out. Let's go out into Grumpig. Mega Diancy. Moonblast does a lot, 30 million percent, and lowers my special attack. Well, that's great. Let's go for a top. I'm a, I misplayed, I misplayed, I forgot about Magic Bounce. Completely and utterly forgot about Magic Bounce. That does no damage. Just kill me off, please. Life screen. Why are you setting up so much? You don't need to set up this much. Stop setting up. Thank you. Because I can't kill him. I don't have speed. Please try and set up again. Oh. Psy shock, really? So whirlwind gets deflected as well. Takes us out. And now Noctowl will go down. There we go. I didn't I actually didn't know that Whirlwind got deflected by Magic Pants. That makes the anti a really good setup sweeper. Okay, you usually have a dark type move. So let's switch out. And we can go out into Chat Art. I have nothing for a Mega Kanga. Oh, I had a feeling he was going to do that, I wanted to go out in a Chandler, but if he's got a dark type move. That almost kills. It won't show speed 240. You won't speed everything. Well, I have to hope that you don't have um, a dark type move. Because you win otherwise. Go Goat. Good play. Let's go for the Willow. Oh, come on, we missed. Well, I'm still going for the Willow. The Inferno comes out. Of course, I hit the Inferno. Let's go in the chandelier. Thank you for the flash fire boost. We are choice specs, however. So let me go. I need to go fire blast realistically. That almost kills. That would have been amazing if that had killed. Grass knot was very low. You take him out now. We have 220 speed. Sucker Punch almost takes me out. 
and does because of the second hit. For some reason, I completely forgot about the second hit. Right, power punch is a problem. I have quite a bit of defense on both guys. Let's burn the Kangas card. Now the sucker punch does very little. And we'll take him out with the seed bomb. So now the go goat can't come in because he knows I'll just burn it. So he has to go out into something new. Probably a special attacker. A Noivern. Yeah, that's a special attacker. Okay, let's try Excadrill. I take like no damage from Stealth Rock. Switcheroo. I get Choice Scarf. He gets a Life Orb. Fine with me. Let's go Rock Slide. Go go switches in. Take very little from that. And now he's gonna try and set up. Let's go go guys. He has left these. Let's get the willow off. And now I do have to switch. Let's go into masquerade. Take half damage from the stealth rocks. Lower his attack even further. He did 7%. Now, I don't have any setup. Let's go for Roost. Now, let's go for Air Slashing. EQ does nothing, obviously. Noivern comes in. He obviously outspeeds. Let's go for a. Air Slash. Yes, I knew Hurricane was coming, but that's fine. Now let's go Excadrill. I can switch in all day on these Stealth Rocks with Excadrill. There's the Caldeo. That does nothing to the Caldeo either. Let's go Goldgeist. Because I have to switch out. He has double stab effect on me. Secret Sword does nothing to me. And let's get a Leech Seed off. Because the Noivern switch was very obvious. Now, this is the play. Does he have Fire Blast? Probably. Let's just go Willow. He just went for the hurricane. Okay. Go Excadrill. And that's this time. Iron has resisted four times. Is he gonna switch? No. He did. I should have went AQ. Go Latias. This is a very close game. I think my opponent has it in the bag. Ooh, good play. Very good play. Why did he do that? Why did I miss? I, why do I always miss 90% accurate moves? Like, without fail. Yeah, I lose now because of that. Obviously. Well, I have to go Rock Slide. He's gonna switch out on the Keldeo? No? Why did he go Rock Slide? I don't know. 
Mega Horn misses. Which is that a 90% accurate move? But that didn't matter. My Draco missing did matter. Keldeo will take me out this turn. And good game to my opponent. So we end another episode with one victory and two defeats, which will take us to 213 victories and 192 defeats, closing our win ratio to 21, which I'd prefer to get it up a bit higher, but 21's still okay. Anyway guys, if you've enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with everything going on, and from me, Corpus Knight 5, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.